Yeah, unfortunately, lose by that much more. Yeah, I don't think there was that much difference no. between the two sides, sadly. And, but you know, the scoreline will not reflect that. I think they they were they were more composed in certain things. I think we still coughed up too many simple possessions when we had the chance to build any momentum. Uh, soft try just before half time, but even then at 14 8 I don't think it was a huge you know challenge for us to get back in the game. But um, you know we, we, we obviously made some changes and people coming on and then uh, you know we just never got into the game again after that last 15 minutes or so. The disappointment brush that you didn't make more of the possession and territory and advantage you had in the first half. Oh yeah, definitely. We obviously missed a couple of pots of goal, but you know in general terms, as I said, we didn't hold on the ball well enough. And you know it's not something we haven't highlighted because I've mentioned it in the last two weeks, but. Um, you, you can't compete against good teams who, who thrive on little turnovers, quick 22s, quick lineouts. You know, a little discipline issue or, or an up, you know an avenue to take on, and, and they've done that. And um, you know, we've got again what looks like a beating, but it was you know, it was never as, as, as far away as that. Because of course you come back from the worst possible start as well, haven't you? That, that very early try for them as well. Yeah, the early try doesn't really make much difference. The games, you know, seven points and nothing at that time. As I say, I think we started very brightly in some ways. And we looked dangerous in certain parts. We just didn't, as I can go back to, didn't keep the ball in the right areas. And then when we did cough it up, we, uh, you know, we had a couple of discipline issues. Um, and then obviously some of our set piece didn't function as well as it did. You know, Myler done very well in scrum time. And it's one of these things you've got to accept. Do you expect to meet many sides through the season who sustain that kind of tempo? Uh, not many. I think that's why they are very good. You know, they're, they're very efficient at what they do. They've got key people at key parts of the, around their team that just never seem to be flustered. And you know, obviously Evans is, is vital. If he was playing in many other teams, I'm sure everyone would be pretty happy. But uh, yeah, I mean they work hard and, and they um, and they keep working and they, and they get their rewards. And as I say, we we couldn't stay in the arm wrestle for long enough through our own actions as much as theirs. I know you described last week as a step forward from what happened at Exeter. Despite the scoreline, there's probably more positive to take away today than negative. In attack, yeah, I thought we, were, we, were yeah. we looked more dangerous yeah. today. But um, you know, we conceded soft tries, so it's it's a balance, right, of, of being more dangerous and conceding. But um, you know, lots to work on. You know, there'll be for it. It's a, it's a tough two games, a tough three games with Exeter, Saris and, and Quince. You know, two of the top five away from home, which is never easy. But I still think we, we were ten points. Closer than that game that reflected. Okay. Smash it, thank you. Thanks so much, Enjoy this time.